People are always trying to change the laptop for some reason. Razer went and put a touchscreen under their touchpad like six years ago, moved it off to the right. Apple took away the function keys on their professional notebooks and replaced them with the much maligned touch bar. Like, here's the thing, guys. If it ain't broke, don't freaking fix it. Is what I would have said before today. Right here in front of me is the Asus ZenBook Duo and ZenBook Pro Duo. And I think these might make me eat my words because this appears to be far more than just another stupid gimmick. And this video is brought to you by iFixit. The iFixit magnetic project mat helps you keep track of all the little screws and pieces when you're working on a project. Go check it out at the link in the video description. It has saved my bacon many, many times. So let's jump right into it with the ZenBook Pro Duo. It comes with this wrist rest. It's got kind of a little magnetic thing that's gonna help align it, but there's, there's no actual functionality here other than improving the ergonomics because Asus knows from their experience with their gaming lineup that moving the keyboard down does tend to have a bit of a detrimental impact on ergonomics. Now, what they also learned from their Zephyrus lineup of gaming laptops is that a surefire way to pack more performance into a notebook is to lift it up off the table a little bit. So that gives us a slight angle here in terms of our ergonomics and also more room for the laptop to breathe. So they're calling this their ergo lift hinge or something like that. And essentially what it does is it allows them to pack an eight core HK series processor and an RTX 2060 into a shockingly compact little device here. In terms of IO, we've got Thunderbolt 3 microphone headphone, full-sized USB-A, then we've got HDMI, another USB-A, and more ventilation as well as a power in over here. That is a freaking lot of performance. And they say that unlike the original ZenBook Pro, they are not going to be experiencing any thermal slowdown. So I'm going to hold them to that. Now let's go ahead and talk about the star of the show here, which is the secondary 4K, but to be clear, not Ultra HD because it's actually 3840 by 1100 pixels secondary display. So the way that it works, Unlike previous implementations where we've relied on kind of janky software, is it's just another display in Windows that's right below your main one. So if you wanna move a tab in between them, all you do is grab your touchpad and boom, drag a window. It is actually that simple. So the multitasking potential for this is absolutely incredible. And they have actually built some software tools specifically for it that, honestly allowed to do some pretty cool stuff. So over here on the left-hand side, they've got a little thing that you can either touch with your finger or activate with the mouse that allows you to set up a few of your presets. So let's say I wanted to uh, book a trip, for example. I could have my hotel website up on the top, my calendar and a maps application on the bottom, and who knows, I might wanna throw a calculator down there to see how much this whole thing's gonna cost me. Or if I'm more of a creative type, I can fire up my creation software on my main screen, browse for files on the bottom left here, and then control my music over on the right hand side. And managing windows down here is actually surprisingly easy. So you can either have it be a full window down at the bottom, you can have two side by side and it works exactly the same way as your traditional arrow snap. So you just pull it over onto the side and bippity boppity, there you go, there's a different one over there. Or Asus built a custom thing where you can drag it up to a little bar on the top and you can have three things down on the bottom. If you decide, okay, you know what, really I'd rather focus on YouTube right now, all you do is hit this button right here and boom, my YouTube and my music's up here and now I am browsing the web down here. Honestly, as a writer, I could see myself using this all the freaking time because now I'm having the typewriter experience down here. I've got what I'm working on right below me and then up here I can have whatever, you know, uh, article or like a reviewer's guide or whatever it is that I'm referencing because honestly, I don't need to see that much of a document that I'm working on. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned from a usability standpoint is, oh yeah, that right-hand side touchpad that I have not been a fan of in the past. But honestly, for the extra productivity that I'm gonna get out of this screen, 
I could overlook that with one small improvement. I'd like to see a couple of the keys over here be able to be rebound to left and right click so that I can operate it two-handed. Then, I just honestly don't see a reason why this can't be my next notebook. I certainly hope it could be. Now, one thing that's not finalized is the panel technology. The one I'm looking at right now is a 4K OLED up here, and it's a glossy display, and then it's that 3840 by 1100 LCD with a matte display down here. That's to give you a better feel on your stylus and prevent reflections from the top display from interfering with the image. But it could be that depending on the region, you're gonna end up with an implementation on the Pro that's more like this ZenBook Duo sample. So here, we've had the display downgraded to 1080p, but something you might have noticed, especially if I were to open up, here we go, a web page that I can scroll through here, is that they match a lot better. So in this case, not only are they both matte, but they're both LCD, so that A, you're gonna have a much cleaner experience as you scroll through a page like this. Look at that, isn't that freaking cool? And B, ASUS says that on the Pro model, in some regions, they're aiming for LCD because they can achieve better delta ease for content creators, and they really want people to be able to get real work done on these things, as opposed to just watch YouTube videos and browse the news. So this one is a smaller screen, it's a lower end processor, up to Core i7, what was it, U-series? Yes. So that's up to a quad core, it's got a little bit less I.O., but it does get significantly better portability, and it still has dedicated graphics with a GeForce MX250 in it. So I want to hear from you guys, because last year at Computex, we showed their dual screen notebook concept, and my big thing was like, guys, you're never getting rid of the keyboard, but this, this, I could get behind. Speaking of things I could get behind, this segue to our sponsor. The MassDrop Plus Universal IEMs were tuned by Drop.com from the ground up, and the goal was to capture the technicalities of a professional audio monitor in an IEM. They've got three Sonyan balanced armature drivers per ear, and each unit is handmade with big, layered, and impactful vented bass. So check them out at the link in the video description at Drop.com. So thanks for watching, guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button, I guess. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured in, I don't know, what, four to five months or something like that? We're not sure exactly, but it's coming later, and I'm certainly stoked on it. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should totally join.